Hi! In this video, I will be showing you a 185 watts battery capacity tester which has the capability to test any type of battery. This battery capacity tester can be used as a capacity measuring device or an energy monitoring device. For this video, I will be showing you its function of battery capacity testing. I have ordered this product from AliExpress, and I have received the following accessories with it. 12 volts 1 ampere adapter Instruction manual A socket adapter Adapter for device under test, in short DUT And some cables which I will show you shortly. Let's first check the power adapter that is provided with this device. It's a simple 12 volts 1 ampere adapter which will be used to power up this battery capacity tester. The socket adapter can be used with it if required. The instruction manual is really helpful when you are about to run this device for the first time as it guides you how to turn it on and check its other features. This adapter will help you to test devices like power banks, phone chargers, bench power supplies in order to test their output power capacity. It's a nice compact adapter and well built. You will also get a pair of cables with crocodile connectors so you may test any lead-acid type battery with this tester. The USB cable is useful when plotting graphs on a computer. And finally, a temperature sensor which can be attached to the device under test, and you can monitor its temperature while testing its power capacity. This specific model comes with the part number DL24P, which is a 185 watts capacity tester. Connectors for DUT and temperature sensor. A piezo buzzer on the top right side for indication. For push button switches for operating this device. Connector for load to be monitored. Connector for computer USB cable. The 12 volts adapter will be connected here to power up this device. The fan on the heatsink is attached to this connector by default. Here is the actual load which is a power MOSFET. It is attached to this heatsink because it will get ridiculously hot when testing high power devices. These four mounts are holding the heat sink with the PCB board. You can push this clip downwards to remove the heat sink. This tester requires four wires to be connected to your device under test because one pair is for measuring voltage and the other pair is for measuring current. If you want to make two wire connections, then make sure to use thick wires otherwise the measurements will be incorrect, and this tester might also get damaged. Let's now power up this device and see how it works. On the top, you can set this device for constant current, constant voltage, constant power, or constant resistance. Next, is the voltage display which will show you the voltage of the device under test. Below it is the current display for how much current is being drawn from the DUT. The total power being drawn from the DUT. The resistance of the circuit loop. The energy being drawn from the DUT. And finally, the total capacity of the DUT in milliampere hours. This device can also be connected with any phone using its Bluetooth. 
These LEDs indicate the status of Bluetooth if it's connected. You can set a timer on this device if you want this device to stop after some intervals of time. The cutoff voltage will be set to stop this device when the DUT reaches the desired voltage. In temp means the temperature of the power MOSFET at any instant. The internal resistance of the battery will be shown at this point. Here it indicates the status of the tester. When the setup button is pressed one time it will move the cursor as can be seen on the screen. The setup button is for setting up this device as per battery requirements. The right button is for incrementing any value. The left button is for decrementing any value. And when you press and hold the setup button for 2 seconds, it will allow you to select any function you want to change. Time discharge means when set to infinite, then the tester will look for the cutoff voltage. When you press and hold the start button for 2 seconds, then you will enter into the main menu. Here you will be able to set 12 different functions. Setting language to Chinese or English. Clear the memory. Current and voltage clear 0. Voltage reference. Current reference. Display brightness. Standby brightness. Enter standby time. Internal temperature correction. External temperature correction. Overpower, I've set it to 120 watts as a safe side but it can go up to 185 watts. Default or factory setting. And finally, for exiting from this menu. As I've changed the standby time, so you can see that the new settings are now saved in its memory. Let's now connect these testing cables so we may begin a sample test. For this process, I will be using this Murata 18650 cell which will be installed in this battery holder. Now it's time to connect the battery to the tester. Here you can see that the tester is displaying the battery voltage that is 4.1 volts. Let's set the load current to 1 ampere and start the testing process. And finally press the start button. Now you can check the current drop, power, resistance, energy of the test process in real time and the total capacity can be checked at the end of the process. Since we set the load current to 1 ampere, the cooling fan will stay off. You can also check the internal temperature and the battery resistance here. It is always better to check the temperature of the battery during the discharge process. Let's check how to clear the accumulated data from the setup menu. And it's done!
Now let's set the load current to 3 amperes and see what happens. The fan is now turned on because the tester will generate a lot of heat. Looks cool right? Compared to previous output, the new settings will show a higher values of power, energy and capacity for the same time. For higher current values, it is very important to use the right testing wire gauge. Enjoyed the tutorial, right? If yes, then do subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon so you'll know whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.